girl, let's travel. Shanghai has been my favorite city ever since I moved here. Of course, the number one reason is because it has more foreigners than we are used to in some other cities in China. And also, um, the foreigners there are much more diverse, so it creates this community of different-minded foreigners. And so whenever I go there, I have a lot of fun, I party, there's a lot of, a lot of places to go, there's a lot of places to hang out. You always meet new, interesting people everywhere you go. So I kind of make it, made it a tradition to always go to Shanghai like every year every end of the year this year after everything that has happened in 2022 I was like girl let's travel and so we decided to go to Shanghai the entire trip lasted for three days I usually travel alone but this time around, my entire friend group decided that we're all going to Shanghai together. So we booked a hotel together. I went with my friend from Jinan and they also came from Beijing and from Nimbo, I think, yes. So it was very, very nice. And we lived at the same hotel, we went to the same places and we just really had a lot of time together. <laughs> It's honey. I'm going there. Nobody can stop me. <laughs> so the first night we went to hang out with people. We went to party. The first club that we went to is Medusa. Usually I like to go to Loka, which is like the gay club there. But those weren't the things I was in the mood to do. So we went to Medusa. Medusa was fun. It was there was a drag show that night. And we watched a lot of drag queens and girl. Those queens were furious.
After Medusa, after the drug show, we also went to Found and we, we just really partied that night. We really partied hard and I love to party. <laughs> I don't party every day, but when I, I want to party, I really, really party. And it was a good night, so we called it a day. After last night, the next day was um, very exhausting. We were very tired. We couldn't even get enough sleep. And we slept in very late. And my head was killing me. And so I needed to just go outside and take a walk and see how things were outside. And uh, um, so I decided to go out with my friend JK. And we just took a stroll because our hotel just right by the bond so it was like like it's like the city center so we took a walk honestly this city shanghai was it's beautiful very very beautiful and it was just very enjoyable to take a walk and i don't like walking too much but i enjoyed this one <laughs> I still need on our way out we came across this um i don't know what to call them but these people they're selling meat and the meat was delicious so they have um varieties of of meat they have chicken they have beef they have lamb they have all sorts of stuff right but we had just two pieces and by the time we were done with that we did not need to eat any more food because it was huge a lot and very very delicious Um, of course, me, I will always check out Zara anywhere I go. And there's something unique about this Zara in Shanghai. It's very fancy and it's beautiful. The interiors are like excellent, top notch. And they have surprisingly, you would expect that a city like Shanghai, the clothes would be expensive, but they weren't. You guys, what do you think about this? I kind of like it. Oh, 
it's the 31st night which means it's time to cross over to 2023 so i went out to the bond where there was a countdown there so we all went there to cross over to 2023 there was a lot of people there there's like too many people and i can tell you that almost half of them there were covid positive sick but they did not care but it was beautiful but it was beautiful i i had a lot of fun there we crossed over and um it was now time to go out and party more